do you have a troubled sun in your chart? Do you have a troubled moon in your chart? Or is your fifth house, ninth house afflicted? Or is your Lagna afflicted? Or your Lagna Lord is afflicted? Or do you have some house in your chart or some planet which is afflicted by more than two malefics? Well, if any of this is true, then you might be uh, suffering because of some issues through your ancestors. Now, of course, it does not mean that something some uh, your ancestors did and uh, you are suffering because of that. No, it just means you also have some karma and you are born in that lineage. Okay, this is what it means. But nonetheless, if you have such placements, such difficulties in your chart, then you are here in a wonderful time now because from 17th September to 2nd of October is the most auspicious Pitru Paksha which we are celebrating now. And Pitru Paksha is a time where we uh, honor our ancestors, we honor their contribution, we respect them and we do Pindadan and Tarbal, right? So, now, why this is done is, uh, from a Vedic context, it, it is to offer gratitude and also to uh, do reformatory practices, okay, uh, which we will discuss in a bit. But the the objective primarily is that we should be aware of our ancestors and we may not know our ancestors above more than three generations. Like, I know my father, my grandfather, and to some extent my great-grandfather. I don't know who was there before, okay? But it doesn't matter. If you do this, uh, if you follow the procedures of Pitru Paksha, not only uh, three or four or five, all the generations you can benefit. Okay, So, therefore, this is very important, specifically if you also uh, worship the Pitris. Even if you don't, then also this is very important. And today we shall discuss 10 such easy remedies which you can do. Easy, almost <laughs> Some of them are a bit difficult, but you can do them. Uh, you don't have to, you know, like go 1,000 kilometers to some temple and, uh, yeah, you don't have to, like, you know, break your head to, to, okay, you can do them very easily. Okay, most of them you can do sitting at your home. And even if the others you cannot do, you can just do the ones which you can do sitting at your home. You don't need to go anywhere else. And even if you can do four or five of these remedies, uh, your life will be successful. So, if you have major afflictions and major difficulties, then uh, especially with your sun and moon or you know you are born in Amavasya or Eclipse or something, you you are highly recommended that you do this. Okay. So now, the first thing that you need to do is you should study the uh, Srivad Bhagavatam 7th Canto. Srivad Bhagavatam is known as the Amalam Puranam. It is the crest jewel of all the Vedic literatures written by Maharishi Vyas and the pinnacle of his spiritual maturity, right? The Bhagavat Mahapuran. So this, uh, this uh, Sriman Bhagavatam has 12 cantos and within that if you read the 7th canto specifically, you have the pastime of Prahlad Maharaj and Narsimadev. Narsimadev, as you know, is one of the avatars of Bhagavan Vishnu and he incarnated in this world to protect his pure devotee Prahlad. Now why is this important? Somebody going to kill us like Hirnya Kashyapu. Well, it's not important why Nursing Dev came. Well, that's very important. But in context of Pitru Paksh, what is even more important is that when Hirnya Kashyapu, the father of Prahlad, is killed by Nursing Dev, and Nursing Dev is so angry, and then later Prahlad Maharaj specifies him. The story is very long, so you should read it. But when he specified, uh, then he asks Prahlad Maharaj that please ask for some boon, some benediction, some vardan. I am so happy for you. And then Prahlad Maharaj says, no, I don't want any benediction. I am not a businessman. But if you want to give me any benediction, then just uh, free my father from all sins. Okay. And then Nursing Dev says that, what to speak of your father? I have liberated 21 generations above you your ancestors and your descendants, 21 generations. And not just in that lifetime, every lifetime of yours. Okay, so in the previous lifetime, 21, 21, then previous, 21, 21. So can you imagine how many, how many of our lifetimes you have lived in this material world? 
that many for that many number of lifetimes 21 generations above and beyond below you they have been delivered now what does it mean to be delivered delivered does not mean they get mukti or moksha necessarily delivered means they get a chance to practice spiritual life and perfect their life uh, life and go back to the spiritual world okay so this is what it means now therefore you should read this past time okay it is there in the seventh canto please read it try to read it every day you will be very much benefited okay now number 2 this is very 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 important this is also now uh, there in the shrimad bhagavatam fifth canto uh, fifth chapter second verse okay 5.5.2 also the text uh, the shloka goes like this you know mahat sevanam dwaram ahur vimukteshu right so this means one can attain the path of liberation from material bondage by only rendering only by rendering service to highly advanced spiritual personalities okay so if you get the chance to do mahat seva so if you have some rishi some sadhu or some sanyasi near your home and you get a chance to invite them to your home and feed them uh, prasad uh, then that is the best thing you can do so you can invite them then also learn from them you know uh, get to know things from them get to know bhagavat tattva like you know uh, vishnu tattva you can get to know what is spiritual life what is spiritual elevation okay so if you can do this doors to liberation will open okay so therefore please do this if you can okay if you are in the west uh, maybe you can you know find some temple somewhere or if you are in india you are very fortunate by default you can anyways do it okay but nonetheless if you are in the west and you are not able to find anybody you can donate to some sadhu or you know some uh, spiritual community that will also work where the donation exclusively goes to uh, serving a mahatma okay very important number 3 you can sponsor some uh, dt worship so in the temple you have the dt the archa vigraha right so the archa vigraha is dressed every day and you know dressed quite elaborately or purely in most of the temples in the world and then the darshan open so if you can you know contribute to their clothes or to uh, the bhoga which is offered you know bhoga is the food which is cooked and offered to the dt and then when the dt accepts it then it becomes prasad okay so if you can contribute for the bhoga or uh, the dress of the dt then it's fantastic uh, this is uh, or you can contribute to you know making a temple you know, if you can give some donation that's fantastic okay <coughs> then number 4 you can recite the vishnu sahasranam every day twice so once in the morning and once in the evening okay so if you can do that it's fantastic i have videos on the vishnu sahasranam what that is why is it important <laughs> all this is there okay so please do it if you can't do it twice at least do it once every day morning till second okay i am already late by one day uh, to make this video Now number 5 you can chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya you can chant om namo narayanaya and you can chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya these four mantras every day i really should chant them every day but at least till the end of pitupaksh you can chant we will they will actually empower you you know to connect to the higher uh, source energy of the universe okay so very 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 important if you can do these four mantras every day so take a mala beads and chant 108 times okay Now don't just chant one time so first you take one mantra like om namo bhagavate vasudevaya you chant it 108 times then the other then the other and the other okay then number 6 you can you can do bhagavat sapta You know, like for seven days you read the Shrimad Bhagavatam, not alone but with everybody. Okay, so the first was the seventh canto which you read alone, or you can also read together. But you can do Bhagavat Sapta together, or you can go to an existing Bhagavat Sapta. Okay, very 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 important. Where Shrimad Bhagavatam is studied and recited for one full week. Okay, now I have not personally attended one like literal Bhagavat Sapta, so I I don't know uh, if they dis- decide. discuss the full bhagavatam uh, in 7 days or they discuss by parts okay but nonetheless now uh, if you go and the pure spiritual vibration enters your ears your consciousness will be purified and that will also help your ancestors and your you know, descendants okay 
and very 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 important number 7 you can recite the entire bhagavad gita shlokas every day till the end of pitur paksh it will take some time okay no uh, it's not very easy but if you can then brilliant it's like all the seven hundred shlokas just read it or every day okay if you can then please do it bhagavad gita is the summary of all the upanishads okay so there's nothing there, there is no way the upanishad above the gita it's like the it's like the crest jewel of everything okay so the bhagavad gita tells you whom to worship so krishna says you know i am god so krishna is telling worship me and shivan bhagavatam tells you why you should worship krishna why you should worship vishnu what is so special about him so shivan bhagavatam contains all the interactions of lord vishnu with his devotees so that will tell you who krishna is how is he as a person okay so therefore the gita and the bhagavat are very 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 essential so now bhagavatam has 18000 verses so you uh, it's difficult to complete that if you can then great go ahead in uh, till the time of pitupaksh but at least if you cannot do that then you can read the shlokas of the gita every day or at least even if you cannot do that then finish all the shlokas till the pitupaksha ends okay uh, just don't recite the sanskrit also read the translation and try to read the purport so read the entire bhagavad gita at least you know from 17 to second okay at least that you can do once or recite the sanskrit the entire bhagavad gita every day till the end of pitu paksh okay number 8 you can or do tarpan like you know offering water to your ancestors so you can contact some local pujari purohit pandit brahmin in your area and you know they will help you do this especially if you can go to banaras or wow you can go to haridwar or you know prayagraj then these three places are very famous or to the nearest dham so if you are staying in orissa then you don't have to you know travel so much you can directly go to jagannath puri and do there okay if you are in south india you can go to rameshwaram okay? if you are in uh, yeah west you can go to dwarka if you are in the north you go to Bad- badrinath okay definitely <laughs> so uh, you can do as per your uh, availability and as per your geography and history <laughs> okay so history means if your family has been doing tarpan through a particular you know with with reference of a particular devata then you can continue that okay you don't have to like say oh i am bengali so you know i will go to rameshwaram and you can do there's nothing wrong but if there is some tradition existing in your family continue that okay now number 9 you can along with tarpan you can do a pindada okay so in tarpan you know there are different methods like you know water sesame seed you know teal and all this so depending on the tradition and depending on your situation your consciousness and your faith you can do same with pinda pindada so that pinda is like a food which is offered and it is said your ancestors get to eat the food if they are starving somewhere or if they are you know in some very precarious situation like you know some if they are suffering in some hell you know then they get the food there okay so therefore the do the tarpan and the pin, pindadan and also when you are doing tarpan and pindadan it is essential you give some donation also okay that's also very important to the person who is doing it and to others okay and last but not the least you can always donate the bhagavad gita and the shrimad bhagavatam so if you read the gita and the bhagavat and you donate it then that is the best thing you can do there's nothing else you need to do because these two books contain the highest of all vedic wisdom so if you are reading them all your past life you know whatever whoever is there you know not only this life all your previous lifetime everybody will be delivered okay if you are doing it sincerely okay so maybe you can buy 10 bhagavad gita as you know and you can donate it okay if you can okay or you can buy bhagavatam and also donate it okay but nonetheless do as per your capacity you don't have to spare uh, spend you know like thousands and lakhs of rupees doing all this if you can donate even one bhagavad gita that also is a great thing okay now uh, but again as i said if you cannot do uh, uh, you are a student and you don't have money and you cannot afford that's fine perfectly fine you don't have to uh, you don't have to take loan and donate okay 
so try your best do your best but if you can cannot do anything else just chant the four mantras and read the bhagavad gita and the shrimad bhagavatam and especially the seventh canto if you do this your life will be successful during this pitru paksh all right thank you so much please subscribe to the channel if you are new and for personalized horoscope consultations my website is down below don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you found this content valuable take care jai sri ram jai pitru paksh